In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for GE, that's germanium. When we write electron configurations, the first thing we need to know is how many electrons do we have to write the configuration. So on the periodic table we find GE, it has an atomic number of 32. This is the number of protons, but since GE it's not negative or positive, it's not an ion, the protons, they're going to equal the electrons. So we have 32 electrons here. There are two ways to write the electron configuration to figure it out. The first way is you could use the diagonal rule. So you have a chart like this here, you follow the arrows, and you complete the configuration. There's a link in the description if you need help with that. Probably a better way though is to use the periodic table broken up into these blocks. We have the S block, the D block, the P block, and then down here the F block. And when we do that, we go 1S1, 1S2, S can only hold 2, then it's full, 2S1, 2S2, then the P can hold up to 6, P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's our 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, from the 4S2 we go to the 3D, and the 3D can hold up to 10, so we have 3D10, and right now we've used 30 electrons, remember we have 32, so we'll put the last two here in the P, 4P1, 4p2, this is the last term in the electron configuration, and right here is germanium. If we wanted to condense this down, we could look at the noble gas that comes before germanium on the periodic table. So this would be right here. This would be argon. This is the configuration for argon. We could condense all that down just to AR and then put the ending here, and this would be the condensed notation. Note that sometimes we'll have the 4s after the 3D, they'll write it that way. Either way is fine. If you're asked to write the electron configuration for the GE4 plus ion, you would take away four valence electrons, and you always take them from the S and the P first. So we would get rid of these here. So we would make these zero. Let's do it down here as well. And this would give us GE4 plus. We've removed these electrons. We wrote zero in to show they're gone and that gives us the GE4 plus electron configuration, both the long form and the condensed form. If you wanted to write the electron configuration for GE2 plus, you would just remove these two here, just put a zero here. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for germanium and the germanium ions. Thanks for watching.